what matters here is the walk you walk in Night City. So the holidays are here, Cyberpunk is out, sort of. And if you're like me, this is where you spend a lot of time on the couch. As a kid, I remember getting together with my cousins and putting in hours. I mean, double work shifts on the Super Nintendo. And to be honest, not much has really changed, other than the frequency in which we can all get together. There was one year where we pulled an all-nighter playing through the entire campaign of Halo Reach, and I'm pretty sure that I had to work for Black Friday the next day. <sighs> GameStop. You know, now that I mention, I guess a lot has changed. But what hasn't is the desire to put in some serious time into a well-crafted digital experience. And with all of the games being unwrapped this time of year, I thought I would gift you guys some of my best tips of what to do before you hit start. First things first, take a shower. Smelly gamer jokes aside, there is nothing like a nice shower to wake you up and hydrate your body to prepare it for that dent you are about to leave in that sofa cushion, especially if you are waking up from an all-nighter right before. Next is to properly meal prep for the day. I don't know about you, but this is one of the last things on my mind when I go to pick up my controller. And because of that, I'm left eating junk food throughout the entire day because I don't wanna break my immersion. But by preparing some food ahead of time, this will help you avoid sacrificing quality over quantity, leaving you and your stomach much happier. In addition to that, having a lot of water nearby to drink is crucial. The gamer fuel will always have its place, but let that be something that you reach for when you need it, and not the only thing that you're drinking. Again, staying hydrated is going to be way more beneficial for your skin and body when grinding into the wee hours of the night. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Tony, that's gonna make me pee a lot and take way more breaks, which is a perfect segue into my next point. Make the most of your breaks. Our bodies were not meant to be in one position for long periods of time. So when you have to step away from the sticks, maybe stretch a little bit. Step outside and train your eyes on something else other than a screen, which in return will help you get better adjusted when sitting back down for the long haul. Speaking of adjusting your eyes, something that has helped me out tremendously is having eye drops handy. Inevitably, your eyes are gonna dry out over time when affixed to a screen for hours on end not blinking. So by supplementing that with some extra moisture will help your eyesight and overall gaming experience. And finally, get some rest. I know it may seem counterintuitive when pulling an all-nighter with your friends online, but if you can get some quality sleep before jacking in for another session, do it. Your mind and body will be much sharper and less lethargic when gearing up for round two. And as a bonus, I would recommend also lighting a candle while you're playing. It takes about an hour or two for it to burn evenly anyway, and when that happens, I personally find that it enhances my gaming experience by drawing me way more into those high tense situations situations as the aroma fills the room. And if you haven't followed some of my earlier mentioned tips, then you'll need it because you stink. That's it guys, I just wanted to give some helpful advice other than reminding you to plug in your controllers to charge, which if you haven't done so already, there you go. But I wish you all a very safe holiday. All I want for Christmas is for you to subscribe to the channel because I have got a lot of things in store for you next year that I can't wait to share. But keep it you and I'll see you then.